my name is Gray Holland. Um, I'm the owner, director, founder of UX Flow. Um, we kind of design tools for designers and engineers um, in the software space. Um, always three, almost always 3D. Um, so that's kind of fun. Um, and I come from a 3D background. I was originally a car designer. And in fact, I started doing UX uh, before I knew it was UX. I was actually working on the instrument panel for the EV1, which was the first electric car that General Motors did. Well, see, so I am not a programmer. I, I tried, I tried to learn HTML. I mean, I get a little HTML, CS and hit JavaScript and went boom. And just, I just figured it's not me. It's not who I am. Um, and I, we, we had a great uh, project, redesigned the complete user experience from scratch. And the head, uh, the head development architect said, hey, you know, Qt, we're thinking about using Qt for this new, new system. And they have this tool called Design Studio. And I'm like, yeah, right. Um, so it's kind of, I was very skeptical at first. And I was you know, using Figma to do my design, but, I, but I, I never could get really, I can only get so far with Figma. Um, and I, I, like I did when, with, when I was a, an automotive designer, I got into 3D to, to be able to play with the engineers. I always knew that uh, you need to be writing code to play with the engineers. And, um, I just thought I couldn't do that, but this actually opened that door. Um, by the end of it, I was using it more than even my designers were using it. Um, so I really kind of, once I got over that hurdle, really clicked, um, with design studio. Um, and it really just changed, uh, changed my career. I reached back to, uh, a cute expert, uh, that I worked with on the, f the previous project, uh, Lukash, who is my, now my development partner. Um, and we got together and I said, Hey, Lukash, I, can, can you help me out on this thing? I just need a couple hours your night. You know, he was, he started moonlighting on the project a little bit. Um, and then three months later, we have kind of taken it to the next level and really using QML to make, uh, UI components that are much easier for me to work with and um, and lighter and, and more scalable in the Qt system. So um, I, think, I think I've moved from using Design Studio to really getting into QML. Um, and I think that's, that's, that's what I use now mainly. Usually you run out of time and you go, well, we're gonna ship 80% of this. We shipped about 130% of what we set out to do. Well, I mean, I think there's a lot of designers out there that are, that are um, intimidated by, by coding, and, and I was absolutely one of them. I just thought I couldn't do it. Um, I'd say you can do it. Really, if I can do it, anyone could do it. <laughs> I mean, there's just, just uh, it's, I, I'm still kind of amazed sometimes. So yeah, no, I, it's really, it's really changed my life, actually.